Do you have insulin resistance and you're not sure what to eat? Don't worry, I've got you. I've put together a shopping list with the best foods you can eat for insulin resistance. There are so many foods you can eat when you're trying to reverse insulin resistance. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. And make sure to stick around until the end because I'm going to be hooking you up with a copy of the shopping list that you can download and print so you can always have it on hand. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. I'm a certified health and nutrition coach. I post videos here on YouTube twice a week talking all things insulin resistance, weight loss, sleep, and more. So if you're ready to take control of your metabolic health, make sure to click that subscribe button. And you can also find me on TikTok and Instagram where I share new posts every single day. So today's video is going to be short and sweet. I am going to be going over groups of foods and also specific foods that are insulin resistant friendly and telling you why these foods are optimal. Now, I do not generally recommend tracking calories or macros. I have a framework for building meals that I use for my clients with insulin resistance, which we're gonna be going over as we go through this video. And when this template is followed, calories and macros almost always fall into place. Now, if you're not sure if you're insulin resistant or not, I'm going to give a quick shout out to SoWell Health's Weight Biology Kit. This is an at-home kit that tests for insulin resistance, and it also tests other key biomarkers of metabolic health as well, such as your thyroid function. This is currently the only kit in the world that allows you to test fasting insulin at home. And not only that, but when you send the kit back, it's going to be reviewed by a physician in 24 hours and you're gonna receive a report with next steps you can take. This report will indicate whether you're insulin resistant or not. And even if you already know you're insulin resistant, this kit can help you to measure your progress reversing it. So if you wanna check it out, I'm gonna put the link in the description box down below with a code to save 10%. But anyways, let's start off with sources of protein because protein should be at the center of every meal when you're working to reverse insulin resistance. You want to be getting a bare minimum of 30 grams of protein in at every meal. Good sources of protein include whole eggs, steak that's untrimmed, lamb, chicken with the skin on, ground beef, pork, bacon with no sugar added, kangaroo, salmon with the skin on, mackerel, sardines in spring water, tuna in spring water, prawns, oysters, crab, lobster, Greek yogurt that's full fat, cottage cheese, hard cheeses such as cheddar, soft cheeses such as brie, and bone broth. Now you might have noticed that I made a point to highlight that you should be eating chicken and salmon with the skin on and that your dairy should be full fat. And this is for a reason. The thing with protein when you're insulin resistant is you need to make sure you are eating it with adequate fat. If you eat protein that is too lean or you don't add fat, then this can cause your blood sugar to rise. Even if you didn't have any carbohydrates, which is the only macronutrient that should cause a rise in your blood sugar in someone who's metabolically healthy. And this is because when you're insulin resistant, your body is dependent on glucose for energy and we need to change that. Your body is used to a constant supply of glucose coming in, too much in fact, because that is what caused the insulin resistance in the first place. Too much glucose leading to too much insulin is what overwhelms your cells. So because historically your body is used to getting this constant supply of glucose, and now it might not be getting that, if you're also limiting fat, which is another energy source, your body resorts to turning protein into glucose instead. And this is why people with severe insulin resistance, why some people with type two diabetes, can see their blood sugar rise when they eat lean protein. People who are metabolically healthy, and even some people in the early stages of insulin resistance, they aren't gonna see this spike. But no matter where you are on the spectrum, but especially if you're insulin resistant or have type two diabetes, it is really important to make sure you are getting adequate fat in at every meal. This will help your body get used to burning fat for energy instead. So protein is the most important macronutrient, but fat is right there behind it. 
And you can make getting fat in easier if you eat meat and fish with the skin still on, if you don't trim your steak or your pork, and you choose full fat dairy. But you're also gonna to wanna to choose a healthy cooking oil and healthy fat options to add to your meals as well. The best oils to use for cooking include coconut oil, tallow, ghee, butter, lard, duck fat, and for low temperature cooking, olive oil, avocado oil, and macadamia nut oil. Now, if there's an oil you didn't hear me mention, it's likely that this oil falls under the category of vegetable oil. These oils include things such as canola oil, soybean oil, corn seed oil, and grapeseed oil. And they should be avoided at all costs. They can actually contribute to insulin resistance. I won't go too much into the problem with these oils in today's video for the sake of time, but I do have a whole video on the topic, which I'm going to link above. Now, once you've chosen your oil to cook with, here are some additional fat sources to add to your meal as well. Egg yolks, avocado, olives, coconut milk with full fat, MCT oil, avocado oil mayonnaise, butter, cream that's full fat, sour cream that's full fat, and again, hard cheeses such as cheddar, soft cheeses such as brie, I mentioned these twice because some of these foods are good sources of protein, but also fat. <laughs> Nuts with no added sugar or oil, nut butters with no added sugar or oil, and dark chocolate. Once you've chosen the fat that you want to add, the next step is to add fruit and vegetables that complement your dish. Let's start with fruit. The best fruits are low in sugar. These include avocado, olives, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, raspberries, lemons, limes, kiwi, and peaches. The best vegetables include cucumber, tomatoes, capsicum, eggplant, asparagus, broccoli, cauliflower, celery, onion, garlic, lettuce, green beans, zucchini, spaghetti squash, pickles, potatoes that have been cooked and cooled, sweet potatoes that have been cooked and cooled, and butternut pumpkin that's been cooked and cooled. If the cooked and cooled part on the last few foods kind of confused you, I'm going to link a video up above that explains it because cooking and cooling starches actually makes them more insulin resistant friendly. And this is a really, really cool hack. But anyways, that is my ultimate insulin resistance shopping list. In summary, you should be sticking to whole foods as much as possible and limiting processed ones. You should be focusing your meals around good sources of protein, adding a good amount of fat, and then sticking to low sugar fruit and non-starchy vegetables for the most part. Now, if you're still feeling a little bit confused about where to start reversing insulin resistance, I actually have a seven day insulin resistance masterclass that includes a seven day meal plan. This is a one-time fee of $100. And if you join the program, you also get access to a private Facebook group where I offer additional support and coaching. I'm going to put the link to check it out in the description box down below, along with a promo code that's only gonna be valid for one week. And also in the description box is gonna be the link to download that printable shopping list. I'm going to put it there in both A4 and US letterhead formats, so make sure you download the right one. Why is there not a universal standard paper size? Who knows? <laughs> but anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna check out that video on why vegetable oils are harmful that I mentioned earlier, you can check it out here. If you wanna check out my most recent upload, you can find it here. And if you wanna check out my coaching programs, including my seven day insulin resistance masterclass, you can find those here. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.